How you doing, Naomi? Just hanging out? Really bloodshot eyes got there, huh? Okay, well, you're crying now, so I'm sorry about that. You have very beautiful eyes, Naomi, okay? Don't ever let anybody tell you different, especially me. What is going on? Everybody, welcome back to We Happy Few. I'm your host, the Birdman, known as Falcon. And the big major update we've all been waiting for is finally dropped. We're checking out the clockwork update here today from We Happy Few. If you recall, we played this like maybe three or four months back. I really enjoyed this game. Uh, unfortunately, we had a bunch of issues when it came to the quest progression. There was a bunch of like broken stuff because whenever you'd be engaging with an NPC for a quest, on occasion, if you had another NPC kind of like aggro towards you, they would kind of like, you know, get involved with the conversation, it would stop and then the entire quest would be broken. It was a really big issue that a bunch of people were having and I was one of them as well. So the team went back and for like the last three months they've been working on this really huge clockwork update which is supposed to fix the quest progression, out of new, a bit more content as well. And more importantly, they actually added a sequence in between the intro cutscene to the start of the game. So before, after the cutscene, you would basically be stopped by Bobbies, the, the police officers of the world of We Happy Few. And then suddenly you'd wake up in your base and it's kind of like, alright, well, off you go. And you're wondering, well, what happened? We got caught, what happened? Well, now there's actually a bit of a sequence in between that shows you what happens and a new base altogether. So, without further ado, let's get into the game. Alrighty, and just a bit of a heads up for you, the prologue is still the same as it was beforehand. So if you've seen this before, you could probably skip like forward a minute or two and you'll be fine. If you haven't seen the prologue before, just hang out and just watch that and get an idea as to what We Happy Few is all about. <laughs> Oh, heavens no. For noise, top up your joy. I should just take my joy, shouldn't I? All righty, so we have our very first uh, decision over here. If you take the pill, it's game over instantly. You continue living your happy, pill popping, joyful life. If you decide to remember, that is when you become a quote-unquote downer, and that's what we're going to be doing here today. So, downing it is. Percy! Percy! been up to? No one's seen you for hours. Oh, nose to the grindstone, you know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since ten o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Right. Brilliant. Of course. Have you forgotten your joy? <laughs> of course not. Snug as a mug on a drug. Well, come on then. Finish up. Uh, just have a few more pages. Uh, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. Aha! The power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? I'll get a new one. Alrighty, so I love the, the look in that face of that woman whenever she takes that pill. It's just so very unsettlingly creepy, you know? Anyway, let's see here. We have to get our ass up, if I remember correctly. Stand on up. Find ourselves another power cell, so we'll pick this one up and... I love what you've done with your office. It's so... homey. Is that the same old one? Better not be. I better be the new one. Okay. Sit down. And restore. There is now a curfew in effect at night. And it 
And obviously we're going to accept this document. We're not going to censor it. Our brothers. Our boys look after you. You know that. Good Christ, Arthur. You think we've never done this before in your life? How does she know? Well, I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't want to miss the piñata. No, thank you. Um, wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? I made her a welcome back card. And if you guys wanted to go ahead and read that, really important, it basically tells you the, the start of the joy pill um, phenomenon that we happen to live in over here. I think we can live with that. All right, dude, we're good to go. So. I took my joy. I took my joy. No, no, leave me alone. No. Oh, God. <laughs> I love that it gives him a little pat on the back. Like, it's all cool, man. Don't you worry one bit. You'll be fine now. Goddamn creeper. You goddamn creeper, that's what you are. All righty, so we're done. There you are. You nearly missed the piñata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the candy comes out. Come on, hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Give it a whack. Hit it. Hit Go it. on, give it a big old whack. Big You are off your joy. Take one of mine. Oh my lord. He's a downer. Oh, Call security. Down. We've got a downer. Oh, not a downer. I like how you can hear the lady going to the background. Take your joy. Take your joy. That's <laughs> so good. All right, let's see here. We'll crouch about. Down. Bobby's. You smell gas? Flaming Nora. Forget him, there's no time. And there you go. That right there is the really important critical part. What exactly happened? Why did they leave us to be? And why did we show up in the base afterwards in the original build? Well, apparently there was like a leak gas, so they decided to book it, leave us to die. And that's where we kind of find the new base that we're kind of going into now, which is actually kind of cool. I really like the new base a lot more. It feels like a... Uh, I don't know, like a really secluded sector of this entire world that we happen to live in here now. Alright, so Wellington Underground, where the hell am I? Somewhere under the Garden District, I think? I suppose I won't know until I can get out topside. I need to find some way up and out. Up and at them. Alrighty, so I'm gonna come down through here. That is locked, if I remember correctly. So, we're coming down over here. Open this bad boy up. Hey, little rat. How you doing? Oh, is this for me? Why, thank you. I think I'll go ahead and use that if we can. Let's see here. How do I get back into my inventory? Should be the old I button. Definitely. And we want to use you. There we go. Pretty good. We have, uh, what is that? Jerky? We have some jerky with us as well. Great. Okay. Let's start looking around over here in our new comfy home base. Nothing to go wrong down here, right? This is a safe spot. Um, you'll stay open for now, I want to say. Over here, we can get some water. Got some empty pill bottle. Glass bottle. Medical supplies, which are empty. That's good to see. Bandages for bleeding. Pick that up. Alright, if you're not familiar with, um, We Happy Few, it's a... Quite a survival, crafting, all that jazz type of game. But there's a really cool story to it, which is what I really want to get into. Um, more than anything else here. So, search toilet. Mm, nothing in there. Usually, it's actually a good thing if you don't find something in a toilet. When you search a toilet and you find something, normally what you find in there is really not too welcoming, so I think empty toilets are actually a really good thing for us, honestly. 
All right, so that's done. What about you? Glass bottle, all right. What else? Nothing else? Nothing else. Eh, I can turn this radio off. Uh, pick up, tie a string. Lore found. Tie a string added to your journal. Tap for the view. Mr. Rupert Underhill, station number four from Jim Watt, the chief engineer. Dear Rupert, are you quite certain Teddy's off his joy? Perhaps he merely forgot. You've got to look after your mates, man. Have you tried trying a, uh, trying a string, tying a string to your finger or around his finger? God, wait, I can't read now or what? What's the problem here, huh? First day reading, Falcon? What? Come on, dude. Have you tried tying a string around his finger? That always helps me. Okay, so this is actually kind of important because we're talking this letter was delivered to Rupert. Um, and Teddy's off his joy. Okay, let's keep that in mind. Keep that in mind, indeed. Metal bits, metal bits, and nothing in the fridge. That's about... Oh, oh. I think I missed you the first time around. Uh, to Mr. James Watt, from Rupert. He's off his joy, he's lost the plot completely, and he's hoarding all the carrots and he growls at me when I try to eat mine. I'm going to try to talk sense to him when I'm coming back to the village, duty be damned. Um, so, from Rupert. Okay. But, we do need ourselves a basic lock. No, Falcon, do not punch the desk. There's no reason to be mad at the desk because you don't have a lockpick. Let's just make one, we have a couple of metal bits here. There we go. And you know what? No reason not to have a couple of extra ones as well, so we'll go with two of them here. Alright. Hold V to pick lock. Alrighty. Everything's fine. <laughs> what is it with you and punching fucking inanimate objects today, man? Stop it already. Fucking fuck you, desk, and fuck you, door, apparently. Alright, so we have electro lock. Shocker. I will take that. And this is Rupert. So, this is the guy who was sending the memos about Teddy being off of his joy, potentially. So, I let me I'm doing this. search the body. Had an apple, power cell, and a rock. I'll take all of that. The enhanced rock is now available in your journal. That's a recipe for us to make down the line. Um, this is going to be our base over here, so... Honestly, I don't really want... These rotting bodies around here, so if you don't mind, this is going to be part of our base as well. So you are going to just hang out over here. I'm sorry to say I can't really give you a proper burial, Rupert. But, uh, you know, you kind of, um, asked for it yourself when you got, kind of got in Teddy's case there. Teddy's a wild dude. Will we see Teddy, you're asking? I'm not sure where Teddy is, man. I don't know where that guy went. He, he makes his own rules, honestly. He's off to joy, so who knows what he's up to. Alrighty, so we're good over here. Everything's fine. We have ourselves a personal save. This is where we're going to be storing our items in the future. Pick up a canteen. Might want to fill that up. Sleep. Diary of Theodore. So this is actually the diary of Teddy, who apparently killed Rupert. I look into the nights like the doctors ordered. I could swear I see shapes in there, moving around like shadows made of light. And there's shadows all around, always around the corner. He keeps turning lights off, says he wants to save the ball, because he's trying to make me think I'm going blind, isn't he? How he loves to feel superior. I can hear him crunching in the dark. It isn't rats, it's his big mossy teeth. And we've come to the end of our time, we've come to the end of our time, we've come to the end of our time. So yeah, Teddy just went completely batshit. So, there's that. Um, alrighty. Oh, that's uh, very lovely paintings right here. Yeah. The scribblings of a obviously sane person, one would say. Alright, so I think we're done here. Where are the safety goggles? The goggles do nothing. And over here we have to use our electrical shocker, so let's go ahead and hold the V for the old hacky hack. Cool. In control room. No! Who is that? Is that Teddy you're saying? You're damn right it's uh, Teddy. We've come to the end of our time. <laughs> Teddy, please. I was known as you do your little, um, we come to the end of our time thing here, okay? But now you're being a dick. So you gotta go down, Teddy. You gonna punch me in the face, Teddy? You gonna do it this way, huh? Bring that ass down, Teddy. He's unconscious. Oh, I didn't kill him. Save a bit for the next minute. So let's search him out. Huh, you know what? It's actually kind of weird. I think I killed him the first time around. I'm not sure why he's unconscious now. And that's gonna be a problem for me in the future. <laughs> I don't think I want this man in my base if he's unconscious. When he wakes up, he's gonna probably want to kill me again. 
Uh, radio, you can stay off. That's fine. Press the button. Eh, why not? Lights! Let there be lights. Alrighty, good. And, uh, my god, Teddy. My god, Teddy. <laughs> you need some actual help, my friend. Let's crouch about. And let's see what you were up to here. What were you up to, Teddy? Oh, you were eating rotting meat. Mm-hmm. Very sane. Very sane. Not sure that was like a human meat. It's just this rotting meat. It could be human for all I know, though. And here is where the joy was apparently supposed to be produced, but it stopped being produced. Take joy pill, it's empty. Alrighty. Well, that's that. So we're practically done here now, and this is going to be our new base, and... Up that stair, not stairs, but that ladder's gonna be up to the top side of where the downers live. So what I'm gonna do here is, um, Teddy, you're gonna come with me because I cannot have you running around my base here like a madman. So we're gonna go upside and get rid of this body here if we can. Alright, so Teddy, <laughs> I don't think anybody's seeing me here. It's fine, don't you worry about me. Just getting rid of an unconscious man. He drank too much, you know, he's fine. He just needs to wake up, walk it off, get some water over here. He'll be okay. Let's go ahead and fill our canteen from the water pump as well. And that's about it for us. Now, we're a little bit hurt, so we have to kind of go out there and start looking for some items. And this is where the um, new startup point of the game is going to be at, as you can see. Um, so, let's uh, go out and start looking around... Our main goal is going to be down through here, which is a re reach St. George's home. Um, let's set up a little bit of a waypoint over there and kind of get this under row here. Um, let's also search some rubble pile, feather, big splinter, metal tubes. Who is this? Nigel. Well, nothing lasts forever, does it? I wish I'd died in the bombings. No. Oh. <laughs> I could give him an apple, this cheerful guy. Now, if you give them items, they'll basically, like, give you an items in return. So if you have, like, really shitty items that they're asking for, you can kind of give those away, and they'll give you possibly a good item in return. It's really random, so, I don't know, most of the times, I never really offer anything to them. Last bottle, what do you want? You want an Exonite pill? No, no, those are actually kind of really hard to find. And make as well, so no, you don't get that. Feather, big splinter. Alright, who is this? Robin Blackiston, huh? No, I'm not gonna help you, Robin. I'm busy. Who is this? Hey, how you doing, Valerie? Just hanging out? Nice hand, by the way. Very stylistic. Yeah, very stylistic indeed. Recordings. What are you? Uncle Jack. Oh, yes, of course. Uncle Jack's shows are piped into the Garden District, but unlike the ones we used to get in the village, these seem to be recordings. The proof is that you keep broadcasting the same shows over and over. When I was a decent, proper citizen, Jack always had something new to say. Surely, that can't just be joyful forgetting. So, apparently here in the Garden District where the Downers live, we get the reviews, or not the reviews, but the repeats of um, Uncle Jack's show, where over there in the Happy World, they get new shows all the time. They get to listen to Uncle Jack every single day. Must be very nice. How you doing, Naomi? Just hanging out? Really bloodshot eyes you got there, huh? Okay, well, you're crying now, so I'm sorry about that. You have very beautiful eyes, Naomi, okay? Don't ever let anybody tell you different, especially me. Alright, so this is where we're going to. That's going to be for, um, the... Oh, that's a broadcast. Sorry. <laughs> I heard a broadcast. I was like, who's talking? Uh, this is going to be the bridge over to St. George's home. Uh, let's go check it out. What do you say? No downers. Oh, right, right. Well, that would make sense. They don't want us over there. Um... This is interesting. This is quite interesting indeed. So, I'm not going to pretend like I know what's happening here, but I guess like every single time you play the game, there's a new map or a new, I guess like there's a couple of maps you can spawn into. When I took this out for a spin before recording, there was actually a police officer here asking you for the code about who won uh, a game of Simon Says, and you're supposed to kind of go out there and find out the answer for him before he can let you in. Today, it seems like we basically got no Bobby. And there's a Bobby all the way back there. I'm pretty sure you could see him. So now this is going to be the alternate way to get in. Interesting. Okay. So, activate the capacitor. Requires a power cell, which we don't have. Well, we have an empty one, but we need a powered up one, obviously. That's to get in through that way. 
Uh, we do have a lockpick. Thankfully, I made an extra one, so let's go ahead and pop this open. Joy pill, alcohol, and rotten apple. All right. And what about you? We need to put the cell in there to get through there, or we could also try to find ourselves an electro lock shocker or a key card. So we have a couple of ways to get in one way or the other. It's basically up to us the way we kind of want to do it. I'm taking a constable key card or the electro lock shocker. I'm not even sure what's happening with this broadcast. All I can hear is like maniacal laughing. And I just barely picked up on it. It's kind of like freaking me out. Alrighty. So we have a couple of quests here. Let's go into our tab and find out about this. So Bridge of Joy. If I can get a key card, I can use the door the Bobbies use. Maybe I can borrow one from some Bobby somewhere. Quote unquote borrow. Um, so there's that. There's also the Power Cell version, and there's Escape, Reach St. George's Home, which is where we got to just now, but obviously can't really escape till we get through that bridge right there. Let's look at our map here, and what do we have? Zoom on out. Uh, obtain a Power Cell is going to be down here, and then obtain a console card all the way over here. So let's probably set up our viewpoint down there. Now, mind you, there's a bunch of like small little quests you could be doing right now. If I start looking around, you can start talking to people. Engaging a small quest, we could actually go into different houses and start looting for items for crafting down the line. Um, which is something we probably will do, but right now I kind of want to get some of the progress done so we could kind of get to the next area over. And we're almost out of time as well, just noticing that. Um, so how about this, guys? I'm going to probably record another episode or two. If you guys want to see more of this going forward, let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a like. Help me. And I'll let you guys know by trying to search this rubble pile, which is nothing in here. Okay, nothing in there at all. But yeah, if you guys want to see some more of this going forward on the channel, do let me know, and I'll continue covering the new update. Otherwise, I'll maybe do one more episode or two, and we'll wrap it up. But at the very least, I hope it kind of serves as a bit of a awareness thing for you guys, where it's kind of like, hey, there's a new update. Go back and give this another try if you were kind of uh, a little bit sour on it to begin with. But again, let me know in the comments if you want to see some more. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.